I'd like to um, go back. We had two, pe two speakers um, on our public hearing tonight, Mr. Lee and Ms. Um, Baker, um, signed up to speak about a resolution around the issue of restorative justice and upward mobility. So I'd like to take a moment before the um, meeting starts on our business items and going back to our policy items um, to address this issue. Um, I sent many of you a memo telling you that um, this was an issue that was presented to me and I have addressed it in the following way. So first, I want to um, make the statement is specifically around upward mobility and restorative justice. I acknowledge the histories and complexities of systemic racism and our city government's role in perpetuating those systems. I also acknowledge this council's commitment to equity, social justice, and our city's role to address our own systemic racism. As mayor, with the support of the Charlotte City Council, I want to thank the Greenspun Spawn Institute Center for my own alma mater, Queens University, for their research and statement on upward mobility and restorative justice, as well as a request for an apology owed the African American residents of Charlotte for the actions taken under urban renewal laws of this country, displacing hundreds of African Americans on this land that we sit today as the center of government and other actions furthering the inequities of race in our city. I want to express my appreciation for Reverend Willie Keaton, Rabbi Judy Schindler, and former Mayor Jennifer Roberts for their unflagging energy to this effort. Mayor Roberts knows from her time in office that resolutions are important statements that have to be grounded in data, plans, and accountability. Again, I want to say about this council we have made a commitment to equity, social justice, and our role in systemic racism. Tonight, we ask our residents, businesses, and corporations, our philanthropic and faith communities, to commit to a city that is diverse and inclusive, requiring all of us to examine those actions and seek out remedies for bringing all races and ethnicities to the opportunity denied to us but yet afforded to others. And that is why I'm making this statement that we apologize to the African Americans who came before us and to those living in our city today. Our apology is grounded in the fact that Charlotte is a tale of two cities. We have great prosperity and great poverty. African Americans in our city did not achieve upward mobility due to our history of slavery, reconstruction, Jim Crow, segregation as systemic racial discrimination of redlining, restrictive covenants, urban renewal. Charlotte lives with the impact of those laws, policies, and social determinants, resulting in health disparity, food insecurity, negative environmental impacts, and the resulting trauma. Charlotte's statistics show the result of deeply rooted structural barriers to upward mobility such as education, housing, criminal justice, transportation, and, and employment. And the city of Charlotte's government between 1960 and 1967 raised the book Brooklyn neighborhood, displacing over 1,000 families and nearly 10,000 residents, 216 black-owned businesses, and 11 houses of worship. The city of Charlotte atones for the past actions of our government that impeded the st stability and the well-being and progress of African American residents. We ask the entire city to work with us in this moment and this time to change the course of our city to move forward on social justice and equity. And as a city, we will begin to take these steps to reduce trauma in our city with violence and eruption programs in our neighborhoods to fund black businesses in our opportunity corridors to achieve economic advancement, support black entrepreneurs and build public infrastructure on Beatty's Ford Road, West Boulevard, Albemarle Road, North Tryon and Sugar Creek Roads. We commit to creating opportunity for jobs with working wages, diversity in hires and promotions, and to pay all city employees a working wage and to ask our supply chain vendors to commit to the same. We develop partnerships with corporations, businesses, large and small, philanthropic, faith, and other governmental agencies to act to address racism with collective and collaborative actions. 
and we want to measure the results of change with transparency to our community. I want to thank all the people that live in our city and each member of the Charlotte City Council for understanding the past and moving forward for the future. And that's a statement that I make in response to the request for upward mobility and restorative justice from our city. So thank you for allowing us this moment to take and address that issue. It's an important one as we move forward. So with that, I'm going to ask